Sunday. Back out. I back come in the yellow field. What's happened today? My plans have got a bit awry. I couldn't really go where I wanted to. So I thought, I'll come in here, finish off a bit more. What I was explaining in the, the chat to the last video, behind me there, I don't know if you see some trees. Behind those trees, there was a manor house. I'm not going to tell you the name of it because it'll disclose my location. But it was a manor house and it was left derelict for years. And then during the war, the RAF decided to use it as a sort of bomb target, bomb practice. He said in the history. Now there's some strange bumps and bumps in this field and lumps of iron. Now I'm thinking, maybe wrongly, maybe rightly, did they miss? Because it was only 500 yards behind those trees, this house. And as the bomber goes, that's not that far really. So I'm going to concentrate on this field. If we pull out any strange bits of iron or bomb related looking objects, I'll show them, see what we can do. So all I have to say is let's do it. Get in the field. First target, guys. Listen to that. A hunking, chunking, hunk piece of lead. Oh. It's one for the scrap bin, but nothing else. Let's jog on to the next one. Well, guys, you will agree with me. That's got to be the biggest pile of shit that I think I've ever found. <laughs> Didn't that just give me a heart attack? Gosh. Gold bottle top. Saw that shining through, I thought, ooh, come on. Never mind. Let's jog on to the next. Now guys, I just found this here. Does this look bomb related? Chunk of folded up copper. Well mashed up. What do you reckon? I don't know if it's bomb related or not. It could be. <laughs> Let's jog on. Hi guys, first coin. First coin. I'm not going to get too excited to give off a crap signal when it was in the hole. That did. Does, does a good signal now, but you give off a crap one when it was in the hole. I'm not sure if it's old or new. I've I've got a horrible feeling that's uh, a 70s half penny, or maybe even a penny, I'm not sure. It looked old when I pulled it out, but now look at this edge, the edge is too uniform. You can see it there. I'll clean it when I get home, but I'm going to say half penny. Uh, yeah, like a 70s half penny. I can't, normally though, you see the queen start to come through the more you rub it, but Oh well, it came out of a deep hole, so it located it, it just wasn't sure what it was. So there's one coin for the day. <laughs> Let's hope for some silver. Let's jog on. Hi guys, finds have been very slim, but look at this. Awesome. That is a Roman uh, barrel tap. I mean, quite small in the Roman days because he didn't want to be pissed in the fields. Because you can't get out, you don't want to be pissed in the fields. You, you can't even plow in a straight line. So if you give him this little tap, just a tiny little bit of meat just to come out of the end of that. Off they go, carry on working the fields. That's why they didn't do many coin cracking because they were all sober. Or you could say it's a gas vein. But I, I, I think it's a Roman barrel tap with a key. And I keep trying to turn now and it ain't going to turn. Uh, this will probably be the last find. I might do a mini uh, Dell and wrap up when I get home. It's really starting to come in now, the weather. It's going dark, it's coming in over there. So, I don't want to get wet. So, if I find anything on the way back to the car, which is just. There, somewhere, there, there, 
I don't know where I am. There, down that edge. That's all I have to say. Let's jog on. Jog on to the next hunt.